How is one supposed to make coffee without a kettle? Yes, Jesus. Oh, uh, and I found the kettle. Let me show you a little bit about what's been happening. So I spent Christmas in Madison with my sister and her family and visited a lot of really awesome friends. And my friend Michael came up to visit me in Madison. It's about a couple days with him. Doing some uh, State Street exploring with Michael. Good times. Welcome yeah. to Wisconsin. It's also very cold. I love cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Brian made for it at all. Okay, Michael's about to try a pasty, which is like a oh. northern Wisconsin, like, youper delicacy. So take a bite, tell me what you think. Oh, yeah. Straight out of KC. See ya. See ya. Bye. Get out of the cold. Go. I will. And then my friend Paige, you know, friend Paige, she... I uh, spent Christmas with me at my sister's place. It is December 23rd, and I'm on my way to pick up Paige. We're just here enjoying a little cheeky Netflix fire. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> I just got like the coolest shirt ever <laughs> from Paige. Woo, I'm pretty excited. Stranger Things. So good. Um, score mm -hmm. is amazing. You are like that one piece of artwork in an art gallery that people spend a little longer admiring. Rosa, UK. Good and refreshing and fun. Just to spend time with friends who I don't really get to see that often. There's a homeless guy outside. Grab some food for him really quick. Walgreens. Why not? I don't, I don't know what kind of camera it was, but yeah. it had a case like this where the camera had two big two buttons and one lens with like an eight hundred dollar lens or yeah. not that long, you know. He was trying to sell it all for three hundred bucks. Good meeting you, yeah, sir. You too. Yeah, have a good have, day. Yeah, you too have the other. Yep, same. I don't know. It's like the day after Christmas and it just kinda of makes me sad, so Hey, you like my camera. So that's a bonus. <laughs> and nice little conversation. Um and of course I got to spend time with the family. Look, Tanta. Yeah. Santa, give me this dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. I love this toy. <gasps> What's that? Pass. My pooping pup. <laughs> it was a bit emotional for me, um, leaving the family. There's parts of my lifestyle being a missionary that I just really hate sometimes. And one of those things is having to say goodbye and not knowing when you're gonna see someone again. And you know, so many people think like my lifestyle is really great and it is because I get to do amazing things. And sometimes I'd really just like to be around my family and see them grow and experience life with them. And I don't always get that, so. Saying goodbye is also really hard sometimes. <sighs> that is what my lifestyle involves. A lot of unknowns, a lot of being away from people. Um, and it's a struggle sometimes, and it is a sacrifice, having to leave friends and family to go do something that God has called you to, or to a place um, that God has called you to that is far away. Uh, so that's, it's, it's difficult. I'd be lying if I said that all of my feelings were happy clappy feelings about Hawaii. Um, the majority aren't. There's just certain things, little things that make me sad. So let me show you what my room looks like right now. As you can see, it looks like a tornado came through here. And usually I'm not super messy, so this is like big for me. I'm bringing two bags with me 
this monstrosity and then my trusty go-to missions bag. Just random things scattered across my room that hopefully I can deal with. Okay. So let me explain a little bit to you. My dad and I are flying out of Wisconsin on New Year's Eve, and we are arriving in Kona on New Year's Eve. So, my dad is flying with me to Kona and spending a month, the month of January, in Kona with my mom and I. Now, if you don't know, my mom is currently living in Kona and has for the past few weeks. She is leading a counseling school there with the University of the Nations with uh, Youth with a Mission, the organization that I'm with. So we are both actually working um, in Kona currently. She, however, will be coming home, here home, to Wisconsin uh, in April. So I'm going to enjoy the time that I have with my parents. New Year's Eve, flying to Kona. I would really appreciate prayers, if you so wish to, um, for safety travel, safety travel, for safety in traveling, and just for the transition period that I'm going to be going through. Super stoked. Now I gotta go finish packing because that needs to happen before I leave. So I will see you guys in Kona for the next vlog. But until then, remember to love it and to love life.